In lesson 26, the students learned how to solve addition and subtraction equations, and it is very different from how I learned how to do it when I was growing up. So I'd like to um, give a lot of attention to this, so if a parent is watching this, they can kind of see what we're doing, okay? I'm going to start with the addition equation, b plus 6 equals 10, okay? In order for the students to understand what we're doing, we drew a visual model. We used tape diagrams. So I started with the value of 10 in a tape diagram. And I looked at my equation, and I understood that b plus 6 is equal to 10. So I made another tape the same length to show that the they're both equal. And I put b plus 6 in it, half of 10 would be 5. So if I went a little more than half, I put 6 on this side, and I'm going to put b on this side. This is representing my equation in step 1. b plus 6 is equal to 10. So then I encourage the students to draw some blank tapes. Okay? I ask them to start with 10 and 6 and leave our unknown variable b blank. And I ask them to look at it and think about how they would mathematically solve for that missing piece. And the students right away were able to see, okay, well 10 minus 6 is going to give me a value of 4 to solve the equation. Okay, So then we went to our third and final tape, where it gets to why you have to do how you can do the easy way to solve this algebraically. This part, this tape, would be equal to this one, which then implies that this tape would be equal to this one. So I put b plus 6 and 4 plus 6 together, showing that they are equal. Okay. So right away it clearly says that b is equal to 4 because they have the same distance or the same length tape. And I want to get this b equals 4 by itself, so I'm going to take 6 from both sides. Okay. I am going to algebraically show every step of the equation, and then I'm going to show you the, um, the easier way. Okay. In our first tape, I modeled that b plus 6 was equal to 10. In my second model, I showed that 4 plus 6 was equal to 10. And in my last step, I showed that b plus 6 was the same or equal to 4 plus 6. So in order to solve for the variable b, you really have to take 6 away from both sides. And the only way to undo um, a, a plus 6 would be to have a minus 6, because plus 6 minus 6 has a value of 0. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. And you are left with b equals 4. And if you look about it, this is very simple, very similar to the easy way that most of people my age <laughs> grew up doing. You're trying to get b by itself. So you undo addition with subtraction, and whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other, and the answer is b equals 4. Okay, and I will get the students here, I promise. But it's really nice for them to see why this works. And then the next step after that would be checking it, having them substitute the value in for b to see if their work was right. So 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Let me show you a subtraction equation. These are a little trickier. d minus 5 is equal to 12. Okay. This is a little different. You're not adding two things together. Okay. You are starting with a value of d. You want to take from that d 5. Okay. And we've worked on this before with expressions. So when you take 5 away from d, I'm going to make this section 5, and to show that I'm taking it away, I'm going to exit out. And I should be left with 12, 
because d minus 5 is equal to 12. So I'm going to put that 12 in here. And then I said to the students, okay, so how much is d? Well, it's kind of hard to see here. We took something away from it. So let's draw a new tape. You have to add the 5 back in. You have to put it back. Okay, and we know this side is 12. So to solve this subtraction equation, we're actually going to add 5 plus 12 or complete the inverse operation. And the answer is d equals 17. Now let me show you the algebra involved in each step of this equation. This was d minus 5 equals 12. Over here, d minus 5, I actually added the 5 back in. So if you can see here, this results in a value of 0. And to solve it, I added 5 to the 12. And my answer is d equals 17. And I would check that by plugging 17 back in for d to make sure that it equals 12.